Hey there, Postal here. Whoa, that, that, what the hell was up with my voice? Um, so I just opened my crate for um, for the event, and I won a freaking pilot. I didn't know that could happen. I won the pilot for the FW190A5, a plane I didn't don't own anymore or didn't. Uh, I decided, well, what the hell? Let's purchase this bad boy back. Now I didn't like this plane. I did not like this plane at all uh, when I first played the line. I quite liked the tier 5. I very much loved the tier 7. Um, but, you know, I probably was playing it wrong, knowing me. And so, let's see what we've got here. We have four 50 pound, not 50 pound, 50 kilo bombs. We have two of the uh, 21 rockets. We have a bunch, a bunch of freaking... 20 mil cannons and these 20 mil cannons should be able to tear things up pretty well damage per second is going to be 90 and then 80 on the synchronized which makes sense because it's got to shoot at a slower rate to be synchronized we also have these machine guns um mounted and they're synchronized as well so everything's kind of centralized it's not like it's all wing mounted although there are some wing mounted guns the machine guns and um, two of the, the 20 mil cannons are centralized so um, you know, this was a plane I wanted to buy back anyway, and so let's go ahead and let's see what we need to do with this plane. Alright, so as far as equipment is concerned, I'm going to get rid of my consumables first, just because I already know what I'm definitely doing for that. Need the first aid kit. Um, I don't remember the engine being knocked out all that often on this plane, so I'm going to go with the engine cooling and then universal ammo. Done. As far as equipment here is concerned, we've got options for cock cockpit armor and sight. I'm just going to go with sight. I don't. This doesn't seem like one of those planes that you necessarily need to, to have that cockpit armor like you would on a GA or a, maybe a bomber. And then as far as engine is concerned, so here's the thing. This isn't a very maneuverable multi-role plane to begin with. So I'm going to... I'm sure this plane doesn't catch on fire much, does it? Does it? Let's do an uprated engine. Uh, well, let's actually check something here. What's the, what's the boost duration? 20 seconds. 20 second boost duration. So I'm actually going to go with the combined injection boost system. And the reason being is because, okay, now it's going to knock the boost down to 18 seconds. But 18 seconds, I can I can definitely deal with that, right? That is not a small amount of boost. It's pretty darn effective as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to test that out for the engine. Last but not least here, let's go ahead and see what are we going to do with our five-point pilot that we got. Um, I am tempted to do something like Demolition Expert. Uh, how long do these take to reload? 90 seconds? It's actually pretty quick, right? Um, it only does 6,000 damage on the ground. So for the time being, um, I'm going to hold off on... Uh, let's just do... We're going to do Marksman 1, and we're going to do Engine Guru 1. Uh, so my last point that I'm eventually going to earn, I'll either do Demolition Expert based on how quickly or how much I use the bombs and rocket, or I will potentially do something like, I don't even know what, something else, we'll see. Um, we'll take a look once we get that option. So let's go ahead and let's hop into my first battle in an FW-190A-5 in, I don't know, well more than a year. Alrighty, so we are in, well, in our first battle here. Um, and that's a good map. And it's a tier 6 battle, so we're good to go. The problem we're going to run into is this A6M5 can definitely out-turn us. Obviously, it can out-turn everything. He'll be a super big pain in the butt. We'll have to get some chunk damage into him before we... Get ready for um, Let's go. You know, before we uh, get anywhere close to him. And two bombs away, I think. Should be fine. I'm hoping... Alright, so we've got our guns, don't we? 
move in, this thing turns like a freaking dog. Um, we need to have blow up. Alright. I want to hit those guys in. Um, how long? Oh, yes. 90 seconds. So, let's get over here. Let's get up to a decent altitude. Something that this plane has over a lot of its um, contemporaries is altitude performance. A lot of the multi-rolls in the game um, you know, pretty low altitude performance. This FW190 mine has pretty reasonable altitude performance, so we want to take advantage of that. I like to think that my freaking bullets are going to be at Pretty difficult, <laughs> but we came out on top. Uh, these guns are a little frustrating right now because I can see the volume, but they're just not—they're not hitting. altitude again. We're just going to be uh, kind of cruising around here, right? So in reality, from what I've read about the FW-190, like it was the more feared of the, the German planes. Like the F-109s tend to be like the, the more... Uh, good God, man. The plane that we think of when we think of the German planes. But the, the actual pilots Because of freaking volume that they would put out. Um, yeah. And that bomber better dies. It's not, maybe one day. It's not really doing anything, so what does it matter? Uh, I guess we'll head over here into this general vicinity. Sorry, Brico. Some volume, doesn't it? We just, just had to get used to the um, the range of it, I guess. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a postal day without completely effing up a rollover. Hopefully, we don't lose the center section thanks to my ineptitude. Uh, we are going to... I'm actually going to spawn here so we can try to get rid of this freaking bomber. Or at the very least, get over here quickly. Um, right? No. Jeez, I guess so. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going for him. Using Das Boostin. G88 was one of those planes that really did not like flying. It's not my intro video, but it's because it was the only bomber I had at the time. I figured I'd throw down a bomber on the, um... Man, this, I'm going to make this PE2 quit playing. Um, I figured I'd have a bomber on my intro video, but uh, I did not like flying. Very, very happy when I find that. And was able to go to the tier 6. The tier 6 is actually very, very good. Anyway, we're doing pretty okay for our first battle in this plane in 18 months or however long it's been. They got the center sector, but that's okay because we got that sector. I'm going to try to capture this bottom sector. And hopefully we'll show you why I like multi-rolls like the FW-190. Uh, multi-rolls that have the ability to have an impact on the battle in multiple ways. That's what I want my, out of my multi if I need to do some ground damage, I like that I've got the ability to do that ground damage. 
if I need to take out some air targets, I like that I can take out some air targets, right? I know, you got a rear gunner. Kill you before quickly. Dang it. Barely got away, but barely got away is still something. Bowsers. Let's go use some bombs then, shall we? Maybe. I think the game might be over by the time I get over here and time to do anything. A decent game. It wasn't really doing anything the last couple minutes there. I really wish we would have got that ME. Crap, our key 88 is knocked out, but we still have our Spitfire, so that's good. I'm down here, so I'm just going to stay down here. Hiding from me. Dang it, that sucks. Fun game, man. This is a really good plane. Um, I certainly was not playing it to its full potential, but to to have, I mean, I love multi-role planes. The more I play them, the more I love them. Um, I really disliked them when I first started playing this game, and that's because I wasn't really understanding their role. Multi-role like an FW 190, multi-role like um, like any of the American ones. Uh, like most of the British ones. Those kind of multi-rolls that have the ability to impact the ground, to you know, have the ability to um, impact the air, that's what I want in a plane. The problem is um, you need to know when you're attacking air and when you're attacking ground, right? Obviously, an FW-190 is not going to be able to outturn 90% of the planes it runs into, 75% you know, of the planes it runs into. And so you need to be aware of that. You need to be, have a knowledge of the enemies that you're attacking and what you're going to do against them. When I first played the game, I probably would have tried to chase the ME-410, right? And that would that's just, it's going to be a stupid move by somebody in a multi-role. I would have tried to outturn an A6M5. I would have tried to, you know, like I wouldn't have been able to make a decision of am I turning, am I boosting, what am I doing? And so that's why, in my opinion, 
Multi rolls are the f types of planes that you really shouldn't start playing until you have a, a decent knowledge of the game. And I'm not saying like you can't play them at all, but you will get significantly better in multi roll fighters once you understand what the heck you're up against and once you understand the extent of the plane that you have. Um, I have a much better feel for um, FW190s. I play the FW190D quite a bit. I did keep that plane. I absolutely love it. This plane obviously is tier 6. It's a tier down, so it doesn't quite hit as hard. The bombs don't, you know, it doesn't have the giant bomb that the D has. Uh, so, you know, it plays slightly different, but it's, it's basically the same plane. And so if you play it like that, you'll, you'll have success. So that's going to be my recommendation. You know, Postal's recommendation of the day is, you know, if you want to play multi-rolls early on, I mean, that's to your discretion. You will get better with them if you play them after you've already played one line of, of regular fighters and one line of heavy fighters. And then you kind of understand multi-rolls in this game anyway are kind of like hybrids of those two. They've got that boost ability. See, this plane's got 18 seconds of boost. They've got that hard, those hard-hitting guns, but they can't, they don't necessarily do either better than the other planes that are out there. And so you just need to be aware of what you're up against, what the situation is, have good map awareness, so that you're paying attention to what's going on. And you can do really well in multi rolls because you've always got the ability to do something. Anyway, I hope this uh, this game was enjoyable for you. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to hop back in the FW190A-5. I'm really glad I won a freaking pilot. I didn't even know that could happen. Um, yeah, that was stunning. So, <laughs> I uh, hope you enjoyed the battle. I hope you're having a good day. We need to get some more freaking um, Crimson Dawn capture points going on here. We need to get some people on. So, if, you, if you're watching this video and you haven't played the Crimson Dawn event for this stage, we've only got 15 hours left. We need you to help. Hop on, get that extra 50% so we can double up our, our um, rewards. Anyway, have a great day, and I'll catch you later. Bye.